Let's do another concept that I didn't see your notes, but I think it's important you look at it. Take that bit. Take that. Now listen. 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 We did dimensioning. And I said, when it comes to dimensioning, actually what you need is not the full dimensioning. You need just a part of dimensioning. You have MLT system of dimensioning. There's also another system that you're not doing your you want. For instance, what if you're asked to give the dimension of resistance? What will it be? What kind of it? What dimension of resistance? Would there be any M inside there? No. no. So question, what's the dimension? Does it mean that it doesn't have the dimension? It does. So what's the dimension of resistance? What's the dimension of conductivity? So hold on, hold on. I'm trying to tell you a point. What's the point there? At your level, you're only doing MLT. But bear in mind, aside MLT, there are also other systems of dimensioning. There's one that involves theta, some something theta. Yes, right. But those ones are not for you. But if you want to still learn it too, if you want to still learn it. But by the way, please, we said when it comes to dimensioning, I'm expressing parameters in terms of mass, length, or time. And then look at how do we apply this dimension. One of the applications of dimensioning is what there? Dimensional analysis. If you're in class yesterday, I explained the whole concept about dimensional analysis. I said, if you're given four parameters and you don't know how they relate, with dimensional analysis, you actually get, get what they are? Their relationship. That was the idea yesterday. Now, aside dimensional analysis again, in what other way can we apply dimensioning? Take that, please. Other applications, that should be one line space and a paragraph. Over. Other applications of dimensioning includes other applications of dimensioning includes number one derivation of SI unit derivation of SI unit of physical quantities this is what some physical quantities number one derivation of the SI unit of some physical quantities derivation of the SI unit of some physical quantities number two verification of the correctness of a, a, an equation number two verification of the correctness of an equation verification of the correctness of an equation so look up this look up Let's look at number one there. We said one other use of dimensioning is to do what there? Get the SI unit of what? Physical quantities. How does that work? For example, please. Um, okay. See derivation of the SI unit of sum in quotes physical quantity all right for instance please look up you see a question like this they will say they will say using dimensioning derive the si unit of velocity that's an, um, an example using dimensioning derive the si unit of velocity how do you do that it's very simple i'll come here let me start with velocity please for the list of case, what's the dimension there? L to the power one there, minus one. How do you derive the SI? It's very simple. What's L? Yeah. Length. Length is measured the what? Meters. Becomes meters. What's T? Measure the what there? Yeah. Becomes meter per second. Therefore, the SI of what? This is what? Meter per second. Very simple. Very simple. That's how it works. Another example is acceleration. Of course, acceleration, dimension is what? L T to power what? Minus 2. The same concept. L means what there? Um, length measured in meters. T is time measured in seconds to power minus 2. To minus minus 2. That means SI unit of what? Acceleration is what? Meters per second squared. One last example, please. Let's say I have number 3 there. For instance, let's use density. Density rule, check your dimension. Is m l power what there? 
minus 3. Abi? Yes. Alright. Um, M is what there? Mass. Better the what? Kilogram. N is what there? Length. Abi? Better the what there? Meters. So the cost meters per what there? Minus 3. Kilogram per meter cube. So this is how it works. Alright? This is how it works. So you see, using dimension, um, derive the SI unit of density. Please. You're expecting that from here first. You can see that's so. all. Let's look at number two. That's what I want to focus on number two. Number two says verification of the correctness in quotes. That is the correct. Correctness. Is it correct? Who we'll say no? Think of the English language here. You're seeing, you're seeing men, men that live in the days of doubt and die. They told you correctness. This says not correct. But by the way, please, the, the second application of, of dimension, the second order application of dimension is in the verification of the correctness of an equation. They will give you an equation, a very strange one, that this is equal to this. They will ask, is it correct? Perhaps it could be an equation that you've never seen before, like never seen before. So if you see an equation that you've never seen before, how do you know it's not correct? How do you know it's correct? I will show you. Take down this. Somewhere in number two, or be whichever with them, verification of the correctness of a physical equation, of an equation. Verification of the correctness of an equation. Think that means. An equation is said to be correct. So what's the condition? How do I know it's correct? Here's your condition, please. An equation is said to be correct if the dimension of the left-hand side is equal to an equation is said to be correct if the dimension of the quantity on the left-hand side is equal to the dimension of the quantity on the right hand side. Full stop. An equation is said to be correct if the dimension of the quantity on the left hand side is equal to the dimension of the quantity on the right hand side. Full stop. Full stop. Example, using dimension, comma, prove that for prove that pa is prove that pa is not force. Prove that pa is the product of force and velocity. Using dimensions, prove that pa is the product of force and velocity. Full stop. Sciences, this social you sit in your either your test or exam. Quote me. Alright, solution change. So how does this work? How do I prove that? Of course, they said, here's the condition. They said, prove this. Prove that R is the product, they are multiplying of force and what? Velocity. Prove this using dimensions. How do I prove it? Now, first of all, is it correct? Yes, it's correct. So first of all, they'll ask you, is it correct? Yes, it's correct. Um, here's, your, here's your proof. So pi is equal to the rate at which work is done. That becomes work done, all the work there, time. In science, work done is what there? Force times distance. It becomes force times what there? Distance over time. Segment this one out. becomes force times what there? Distance over time. That becomes what there? Force times what there? Velocity. So it's correct. But let's imagine. Alright, so I was saying this week. In exam, they won't tell you this correct or wrong. But most likely they'll give you correct equations. Some of them, they are higher physics. Like some of the equations, they are higher physics. They just give it to you and say you should prove that it's correct. How do you know it's correct? I said it is correct. The dimension on the left hand side equal to dimension on the right hand side. Now I'm saying this for this question that I said, prove that pi is the product of force and velocity. Is this correct? Perhaps you know, perhaps you don't know. But I'm trying to prove that it's correct first. 
before we look at it with uh, using dimensions. Par is equal to the rate of doing work. So the cut work done over what there? Time. That's simple. When is work said to be done? Mathematically, work done equal to force times distance. This becomes work done all over time. I'm having this. If I shift this one out, it becomes take out force, it becomes force times this one here, distance, or perhaps displacement over time. It becomes force times. This place of time gives you what there? Velocity. That so means that part is equal to force times velocity. Let's assume. Let's assume I didn't, I didn't know this. How would that is correct? Look at it. For part, what's the dimension of this? What's the dimension of part? We derive this before now, did we? We derive this in the first, very first class, not yesterday. The very first class, we were there. What's the notion of power? No. Alright, look up. Let's do it together, please. Mm -hmm. First of all, power is equal to work there. Work done, Abi. All over work there. Please, for work done, what's the dimension for work done? Huh? Time. What is work done? Force times what? Distance of work there. Please, for force, what's the dimension there? Mm -hmm. ML to the work there. Times distance yeah. all over what there? Yeah. See, work this out. This gives you what there? M. L times L. Yeah. T to power what there? Yeah. All over. Abby? Alright, so L times L gives you L squared. T to power minus 2. This is now equal to ML squared. T to power what there? Yeah. Times what? Abby? Yes, so not shift this one out. Shift numerator outside. Take this one out here. We come to number T. This is now equal to M L squared T to the power one there. Minus 2 times. Guess what? So it's equal to M what here? T to the power minus 2 minus 1 is what there? So please, this is the dimension of power. ML squared T to the power minus 3. Back to base, please. Back to this. How do I know this equation is correct? Look at this. For par, what's the dimension there? M L squared. To the power there is equal to. Please, for force, give me back that dimension. What do you have there? Times velocity. Give me dimension. All right. Multiply this one. What do you have here? Is equal to. L. Take the L. L times L. What's the part here? Yeah? 1. What's the part here? Yeah? 1 plus 1. Two. That gives you L squared. See, into what's the part here? Yeah? What do you want here? Yeah? So, minus 2 minus 1 gives you what there? Yeah? Are they the same thing? So, at this point, now see, since dimension of left hand side is equal to dimension of right hand side from our the equation is correct that's it place right walk it up walk it up walk it up walk it up add up something please um, I said I said an equation is said to be correct if what there the dimension of what Left hand side equal to what there? Dimension of what? Add this one there. The coefficient notwithstanding. Please add that one there. Very important. The coefficient notwithstanding. The coefficient notwithstanding. Full stop. Very important, please. The coefficient notwithstanding. Let me know. Sample problem two. Einstein proposed that Einstein proposed that energy is given by E equal to MC squared. Einstein proposed that energy E is equal to MC squared. 
using dimensioning only show that the equation is correct using dimensions only show that the equation is correct using dimensions only show that the equation is correct we are n e is equal to energy m is equal to mass and this is what we there speed of light speed of light go to speed of light all right let's prove Einstein true or perhaps let's prove him wrong let's prove Einstein true or perhaps let's prove him wrong so look at this so the concept is very simple right take dimension of everything on the left hand side take on right hand side if they are the same it's correct if not the same it's not correct please is what there now please let me tell you please you don't guess what they mean they will tell you as you can see they said where they will define the parameters for you so you don't guess don't see he has said something else no they'll tell you what it is if is energy please for energy what's damage for energy huh? so here's the concept dimension of energy and work done in what the same thing why energy is measured in what joules work done in what there joules so since energy and work done both have joules that's what si unit what what happens there now they have the same si unit please for work done what's the dimension for work done so m what ml squared this one here so this is dimension for energy is it correct let's check so i have this one here is equal to what's mass m into for c what's c there velocity of or speed for speed what's the dimension l to the power one there all all square is c square you can't see what there square what is that what do you get here m l square t to the power one there minus two is equal to what m this and this l square this and this t to the power one there Hence, the equation is correct. Hence, the equation is correct. So, it will be the same thing. If it's not correct, that means yes. That means it's not the same thing. Is it possible? It's possible. But so, so far as I've seen, they never ask an impossible one. They always ask. They don't say prove that the equation is correct. That means they expect to be what they the say. Is it possible not to be the same? It's possible, but then for USC standard, they always ask you for the same. Sample problem three. Sample problem three. It is not sample problem three. It is known that sample problem three. It is known that the distance covered by a particle undergoing linear motion. It is known that. The distance in bracket s, please. It is known that the distance in bracket s covered by a particle undergoing linear motion can be expressed as s equal to ut plus half a t squared. Ut plus half. 80 square using dimensioning only ut plus half 80 square using dimensioning only comma prove the equation as being correct or not using dimensioning only comma prove the equation as being correct or not as being correct or not we have s equal to distance u equal to initial 
velocity c equal to time travel and a equal to acceleration and a equal to acceleration correct let's prove this as being correct or as being wrong let's prove this as being correct or being wrong all right solution i have s being equal to ut plus r a t squared so your case will now be recall dimension s is this term please for this term what's your dimension l, l is equal to u is what well, is initial velocity o or final velocity o velocity is what velocity please give me dimension for velocity what do you get there that's for u for time what's the dimension there c, c plus half acceleration give me dimension into c what there c squared so i have this so what this answer becomes what there l being equal to this gives you l c to power what do you have here what do you have here plus one have it minus one plus one plus half into this l and then c into this and this minus two this one here plus two so i'm having l being equal to l c into power minus one plus one gives you what there zero plus half into l t to power minus two plus it gives you what there zero. all right n is equal to l t to power zero gives you what there t to power zero gives you one plus what here half into what l this gives you what there one so this gives you what there n is equal to l times one l plus half into l times one L. Add this to what? I have that L is equal to what coefficient here? Yeah? One plus half gives you what there? Yeah? One plus half gives you what, gives you what there? Yeah? One and a half what there? Yeah? Please, we said an equation is correct if dimension on left hand side equal to dimension on right hand side. Please, this are they equal? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Jesus Christ. Please, is L equal to one over two? Is L equal to one and a half L? Yes. yes. Are you serious? Yes. Is L equal to one and a half L? Yes. No. No. It's no. one. No. Oh, what should I say? Look up, look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. Let's use numbers. Let's use numbers. Let L be five, for instance. Let's use six. Let L be six. So, can we say that 6 is equal to 1 and a half times 6? Can that be true? This gives you 6 being equal to, this is fraction is what there? 3 over 2 times what there? 6. Have it? Looking for the play with parts to be in this video. My right place, but I just have to look for the two parts. All right, back back to base, please. From here, two here, one, two here, one there. So six is equal to three times three is one there. Is it the same thing? No. It's not the same thing. So, what's shouting? Yes. <laughs> but look at this, please. The condition for an equation to be correct was this: that the dimension on left hand side must be equal to dimension on right hand side. If these two are not the same thing as you say. Does it become this is, is this now? Is it true that it's wrong or is it correct or is it wrong? Wrong. You that is saying wrong. How about this thing for? <laughs> so it's not correct. It's correct. How come you show us wrong here? <laughs> Look at the last case man there. What last case there? <laughs> so when she says what there, notwithstanding. That means in this case here, yeah, we don't consider what there coefficient. Not in place. So what do you consider there? Just for that one there, the terms is L and L, that's all. Whether it's L and half L doesn't concern you. So far it's what there, L and L. We don't consider coefficients. That's the case. So it's correct.
Checking the first question where we did dimensional analysis, huh? Check, they gave us, we got an expression for dimensionless constant k. Check, Abby. Check, uh, check, check. Yeah. We said v is equal to something. V is equal to v. We got k. Please, we got k as what? Rho R Q over 4 for what? Delta square times what? Eh? P over L. Um, they will say, you ask this. Prove that this term is a dimensionless constant. I want to bring up the notes to prove that this stuff, prove that this key is actually a dimensionless constant. How do I know something is dimensionless? What are the examples of some dimensionless parameter? What's dimensionless? Which parameter is dimensionless? String. Huh? String. String is what? Dim How do I know a quantity is dimensionless? A quantity is dimensionless if it has no SI unit. Which parameter has no SI unit? String. True? Yes. Remember what string? Epsilon, I mean. Equal to what there? And longitude over what? Length. Young's modulus now. Stress over string. Do you remember that stuff? Don't be very good for the gist of this mess now. Hope you know. Okay. So it's equal to and longitude over what there? Length. And longitude is measured in what? Meters. Length in what? Meters. What happens here now? Meters times meters. What happens here now? No SI. Usually, SI is a form. Listen. Usually, SIs are formed when parameters either multiply themselves or do what they divide themselves. For instance, if you say density is measured in kilogram per meter cube, how do you get this one here? This was equal to mass over volume. Mass was in kilogram, volume in meter cube. They were divided. And that's how you go to SI it. So in a case where this one and this one, like this, are the same, what was it now? You cancel out. So because we're there, a dimensionless constant. What's a dimensionless parameter? Simply a parameter has what there? No assignments. So they will cancel out. So, if you're asked to put that this man, this man is dimensionless, what am I expecting? I'm expecting that by if I put in values here, everything will cancel out. There will be nothing left. I only have perhaps only numbers, but no dimension will be left. So let's see this, this is actually a dimensionless constant. So k is equal to, this is what, what do you call this? Density, Abby. Yeah. Give me the dimension for density. What do you get there? Yeah. Abby? Yeah. R is what there? Yeah. Length. All by what there? Three. Three. All over four. Dimensionless. What's eta? M L bar minus one. All by what there? All by what there? Two. So it's square. All over two. All over, not all over square. Huh? What's B? Pressure. What's pressure? What's the uh, what's the pressure dimension, dimension for pressure? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Ml bar minus one minus two. This. Okay. Okay. Then this is what you learned, Abby. All right. So I'm asked to prove that this is a dimensionless constant. What do I do there? I just substituted their dimensions. This was for density. This is R radius in length, cube cube. Four is this, eta, m l to the power minus one, to the power minus one, squared, squared. Pressure is this, all over length. If this is actually a dimensionless constant, everything will cancel out, leaving with only what there? Number. What this what do you have there? This gives you, um, let's take everything together. Okay, let me give you this one first, then with this one. This gives you m into l to the power minus 3 here, yeah? then l to the power 3 here. Yeah? Minus 3 plus 3 gives you what there? Yeah? Zero. Zero. So l to the power what there? Yeah? Zero. We good? We good? Yes. Okay. All over, what do you have here now? Four. Take m. Hold on, this part first m, Abby? Yes. So because what there? m squared. This becomes what here? Yeah? L to the power what there? Yeah? Minus 2. T to the power what here? Yeah? 
minus 2. So this for this, minus 3 plus 3, 0, n squared, l to the power minus 2, t to the power minus 2, into this, m, l to the power minus 1, t to the power minus 2, all to the power m. Alright, so this is now equal to, look at this, this is now equal to, what do I have here? Uh, first of all, let's take m, please. m times m gives you what there? n squared. L to the power 0 gives you what there? 1. one. Have it? Yes. Okay, let me take L together. Hold on. L to the power 0 gives you what there? One. This is 1, have it? Yes. What do I get? L. To the power what? Yes. Are we good? Yes. Are we good? Yes. Or you can say, fine, you can say, combine L. So L and L. What do I get now? Yes. 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1 gives you what there? Minus 1. The same thing. Take t. This is t to the power what there? Yeah? Alright. All over. So for take n. What's n here? Yeah? Square. M square. Take all the l. This l to the power what there? Yeah? Minus 2. This l to the power what yeah? there? Minus 2 plus 1 gives you what there? Minus 1. So l to the power what yeah? there? Minus 1. Take t. This is t to the power what there? Minus 2. t to the power minus 2. Look at this. If I say 4a all over a, this can cancel is true or false? Yes. Why can they cancel? Yes. They are the same. If parameters are the same, with the same power, they can cancel. Look at this. m squared and m squared are the same thing. Yes. So this will cancel this. This and this is the same thing. Yes. This will cancel this. This and the same thing. Yes. This will cancel this. So that becomes what there? 1 over 4. A dimensionless constant. So it makes sense. Makes sense. Dimensionless constant. There's no parameter generation. That's the concept. If it's dimensionless, if it's dimensionless, it means by the time you have to just cancel out, so it goes up. Left with just numbers. And it's called a constant. Dimensionless constant. Let's do one more example on your off. This one looks a bit tricky, that's why. For example, on your off. So I'll just read out, I'll read out the passion for you, you go solve them. I'll read out the passion for you, you go solve them. I'll read out the question for you, you go solve them. Tomorrow is what Thursday. Is I free? Um, call it, call it, are you free tomorrow? Four, four to six. Yeah. Yeah. I free tomorrow four to six. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so tomorrow we we'll do chemistry, now, right? Yes. Yeah, tomorrow we we'll do chemistry. We'll do chemistry. Because I don't know. Huh? Please, I don't do chemistry. One o three o. I said, I said before, I do only one o one. I'm from the engineering background. We do only 101, only 103 in engineering. Huh? You do only 101. Uh, we do 101 together. I don't do 103. But I can still link you up, Navi. In same with 105, <coughs> for different dimensions of it. Alright, let's try one more with all, please. The period of oscillation, the period of oscillation of a simple pendulum. The period of oscillation of a simple pendulum of a simple pendulum is given by two pi root L over G. It's given by two pi root L over G. The period of oscillation given by 2 pi root L over G. Show that the equation is dimensionally cor is correct. Show using dimension that the equation is correct. Show using dimension that the equation is correct. Can we solve this? This one involves square root 2. Can we do it? 
All right. Please. Period. What's the dimension of period? C I mean? It becomes T is equal to 2 pi square root of length and gravity L to the power there minus 2. We good. Right? Length and gravity L to the power minus 2. Work this out. C is equal to 2 pi into root. Look at this thing. From here, L cancels L. I'm left with 1. So it becomes 1 all over. Take about 1 there. Minus 2. Now, hang on. Hang on. If I have A to pi power minus 1, this is equal to what there? 1 over A. Have it? Yes. So what's the concept? If I have 1 all over something in index form, because what there? That A to power what there? Minus 1. If I have 1 all over this, what would this be in index form? I'll have that C is equal to what there? 2 pi. Right. This now becomes root what here? Yeah? C to the power 1 there, minus 2. All the power 1 there, minus 1. Are we good? So we've got all of this power 1 there, minus 1. Alright. What is that? What do you get there? C is equal to what? 2 pi square root of T minus 2. Hold on. Hold on. This term here, is it, does it mean minus 2 minus 1? Or minus 2 times minus 1? What you have here, does it mean minus 2 minus 1 to give you minus 3? Or does it mean minus 2 times minus 1? Which of them? Minus 2 times minus 1. Okay, sit down. Okay. There's one particular guy, he was, he was saying, like, he was, it means minus 2 times. You want to go the wrong way? You're not going to say this, you just better keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right, look up. Oh, see, there's difference between this t minus 2 times t to the power minus 1. This is different from, yeah, this is different from t into minus 2 minus 1. They are distinct. For this one, I'm having the same base multiplying. What do you do now? Add their part. So it becomes minus 2 minus 1. I can see what there? Minus, minus, minus 3. That's in this case. For this one, they are multiplying. So it becomes t into minus minus plus 2 times 1. Please take note, they are different. So, right, so minus minus plus 2 times 1, 2. From here, c is equal to what there? 2 pi. This cancels a bit? Yes. Because what there? Please. Are they, is it correct? Yes. Of course, 2 is what there? A constant. Pi is what there? A constant. They said coefficient. <laughs> now we stand in pi is a constant. Abi, what's one of pi? So two by seven. Abi, all what there? Three point one four two seven. What? All right. So I think we'll call the day today. Let me read out questions for you.